Hey guys, this is Jay Keeps here in the 710 Studios. Here during the bye week, I kind of want to do an overarching theme of how this offense is progressing uh, so far this season. And, and this last two weeks ago versus the Oakland Raiders, uh, you saw a great demonstration of Russell Wilson, this offensive line, being able to pick up exotic pressure looks. And this is key because most defenses are going to want to go into every game with a couple unique pressure packages. And if the offense can handle these situations like they have shown thus far this season, they will be able to pick defenses apart and they will get defensive coordinators uh, away from using these things. As a quarterback, you are always taught to attack pressure. And if you can beat that defensive coordinator with his pressure package, you're going to have a great night. And so far, Russell has done just that. And this offensive line has been so much more improved in terms of picking out uh, blitz pressures, and being assignment sound. All right, let's dive into this play. So the first thing that you should notice is you can see that the Oakland Raiders defense, they're a little disconjointed. They're a little all over the place. Um, and again, this goes to show kind of where they're at, the State of the Union for the Oakland Raiders. Uh, their defense just not on the same page. Uh, communication isn't strong, but what, what the Seahawks do really well is if you notice, Tyler Lockett is in the backfield. Uh, which is very unique. Tyler doesn't normally line up as a running back, and this is a great little wrinkle that Schottenheimer puts in. One, to give a different look and to, to personnel-wise, get the defense of give, give the defense pause because Tyler Lockett is in the backfield. But two, this motion, they are going to motion Tyler Lockett into the slot. And when they do so, it allows Russell Wilson to have a clear picture. It is a man zone type of gathering of information. If someone motioned out with Tyler, then it would be a clear picture of man-to-man -man coverage. But no one motioned out with Tyler, so again, Russell knows that it's zone coverage. Now he just has to determine where the pressure is coming from and who's attacking. So because of that, now you've got a defensive end, uh, a Will linebacker, a Mike linebacker, defensive tackle, and a defensive end here. Oh, sorry, and a defensive tackle right there. Okay, so you got double mug look here. Now he's got to determine if they are dropping out or if they are going to pressure. So now at the snap of the football, you see that they brought the double mug, but they are dropping the defensive end. And all Seattle is doing here is they are just running simple slants across the board. Okay, easy play, get the ball out. Whether it's man or zone, this is a great play call, and it's up to Russell Wilson to find the open guy. Well, Russell knows that this defensive end is dropping and attacks the lesser coverage guy, and you have a Tyron, Tyron Swoops, who just was recently signed before this game, come screaming open down the middle of the field. Quick, easy completion. That's a 23-yard gain, stopped at the two-yard line, and sets up the first score, and again, seeing this is very positive for this offense. Now, going on to the next play. Again, it's third down. And they're bringing, a, again, a very exotic pressure look at the line of scrimmage. Double mugs, uh, double mug, meaning the Mike and the Will linebacker are in the A gaps, uh, looking like they're gonna pressure, and they brought the free safety outside on the edge uh, down the line of scrimmage. They don't, again, he doesn't know where the pressure is gonna come from at this point. He's going to come in and then he's going to come back out. And the reason why they're doing that, again, is to gather information, help Russell determine whether this is man or zone coverage. Now, with this, because no one followed Tyler Lockett, he knows that it's zone coverage. He knows that he's going to have guys dropping out of here instead of all pressure. It just is a matter of who is coming. So now what the offensive line and Russell Wilson do a great job of is identifying the pressure and they move the line of scrimmage. They know Bruce Irvin is going to drop out, so Dwayne Brown blocks down, and everybody is blocking down and protecting the right side of the line of scrimmage. When you go to post-snap, you see Russell. This is as clean of a pocket as you're going to get. Beautiful. Offensive line has done a tremendous job blocking and pass protection, one because of the run game, the play action, but now they've done an awesome job over 
this season identifying and being assignment sound. The last couple years, you could not say that about this group. And because they are assignment sound and because Russell has such a great pocket, he is able to allow this play to develop and hit a Doug Baldwin running a beautiful over route and being able to complete on third and medium uh, in a critical situation to keep the drive moving. If the Seahawks can continue on this trend, continue identifying uh, pressures correctly, be assignment sound uh, in the offensive line protection, and giving Russell a clean pocket, you are going to see this offense continue to perform and perform week in and week out, which will help this group get to the playoffs.